Good morning. Um, it's date day for Jack and I. He is off work today since the weekend. And so we decided that we'd go on a little date today. Um, he always lets me choose. So instead of like going to dinner or something, because I didn't want to get a babysitter yet or anything, I am just like addicted to coffee right now, just because like we're not getting the most sleep, but we get good sleep. Shilly wakes up most of the time once a night, um, here and there twice a night, so I can't really complain. But when I'm a sleeper of like eight to 10 hours, <laughs> going from eight to 10 to like seven or six is a lot. So I just really love coffee right now. So we're gonna head to Starbucks and we're gonna splurge a little bit because they're running like four drinks for $20. And we were talking about it. We really like Gideon's coffee. So, and we were at Disney Springs yesterday, as you'll see in this video. Um, but we didn't get Gideon's coffee. They did have a short line and they weren't on a virtual queue, but it just didn't sound good yesterday. But like when we were talking about the coffee that we like in the area, we like Gideon's. And by the time you get that at $8 and we each get one, or if we share, you're basically at $20 anyway. So we thought we would try this Starbucks deal and try some drinks that we have never had um, just for fun today and gets us out of the house and driving around in the car since it's a little hot out. So we can't really take her out right now since she can't regulate her body heat. Um, so yeah, so join us and let's go try some Starbucks drinks. I have a question. Is it just me or does Starbucks make a better coffee when you go in and pick it up than when you go through the drive-thru. So right now, Erica's inside picking up our coffee. I'm in the cool car with baby girl in the back seat while Erica's inside grabbing our coffees because we did the four coffees for $20 today just as something to do today. So I'm waiting for her to come out and I'll show you when she brings our drinks. Do you really think that that fan is going to do anything in this Florida heat? I don't think so. But they have two of them. And here she comes. She's got the goods, but she can only carry two at a time, so we just have to wait. Those are some big coffees is all I have to say about it. Here they come. The baby's in the back seat, not very happy right now because the car's not moving, but I wanted to show you the drinks that we decided to get. These are all drinks that we've never had before. So the first drink is a venti espresso frappuccino. And like we mentioned, we did the deal where it's um, buy four drinks and they're $20. So we went with big ventis or trentas. So this is the first drink that we ordered. Um, this is for me and I cannot wait to try it. I've never had this one before, like I mentioned. The second drink is a venti caramel crunch frappe. This one's also for me, but we're not gonna drink these all today. We uh, are gonna put some of these either in the freezer or in the refrigerator to enjoy later on, either today or tomorrow, just because we're not gonna need all that coffee in our uh, diet right now. <laughs> and, and she has two more. That's the big one. Those ones are for her. Oh! Our third drink that we did decide to get was the summer berry refresher with lemonade. This is the Trenta. This is the one that's got those new boba balls. I think they're like raspberry flavored boba balls. So this is the one that we're probably going to enjoy after we finish the two coffees that we um, decide to drink. Like I mentioned, we'll probably put the Frappuccino in the refrigerator just because we don't need all that coffee. And then this is just kind of a nice summer drink that we can enjoy after we finish our coffees. Last but not least, sorry, the baby's not very happy, like I mentioned, because we're stopped <laughs> and not driving, is the um, iced uh, brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. We usually do the normal shaken espresso. That's our, our favorite. The one frustrating part that we always have with Starbucks is they never fill the cup all the way up um, when you get a shaken espresso. We just never understand why they don't do that, but we're gonna give this one a try just because this was the most expensive and if you don't know, I am all about value and quantity. So these were like the most expensive drinks that we could find for our four drinks for $20. I know Jack said that we would put them in the fridge. We are home now, but this is what happens when you live like 20 minutes from a Starbucks. You end up drinking all of them halfway anyway on your way home. <laughs> all right, well, let's go 
one's your favorite? Um, you first. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, my <laughs> okay, favorite. Okay, well, we'll put the coffee ones together, then the lemonade <laughs> is by itself. <laughs> I think I like the shaken espresso the best. It's got a way different flavor than the normal espressos. Yeah. So I thought that that one tastes... It's like very creamy. See, we usually see get... I think it tastes like toasted bread because <laughs> it's, it's the vanilla espresso with the oat milk. So we normally get the shaken espresso, but instead of doing the classic syrup, we switch it out for vanilla oh. syrup. With it, just like the 2% milk. Yeah, that's what we normally do. Like I mentioned, I like to <laughs> get like my dollar to go further, so I feel like I'm saving more. But the... I've, we've heard good things about the brown sugar one, so right. I was well, I was open to try it. So we got the iced brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk, and that's the one that we like the best. We like the flavor of coffee, so that's the one that we like the best. Now, which one do you like the worst? The... Um... What is it? The, the, the Speedway the, coffee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I mentioned, we got the, um, espresso the espresso frappuccino. Yeah, the espresso frappuccino. And literally, first sip took me back to my childhood of stopping into like a 7 Eleven Speedway or any right. other like gas station when you're on the highway and you just need like that slushy, yeah. icy, like yeah. slushy coffee, icy. icy. That's exactly what that yeah. tastes like. It reminds me because the last time Jack's mom visited us, she like, she always blows my mind of stuff that she wants to eat when she's here. Yeah. And one day we were just driving around and she just really wanted one of those from the gas station. And then I just chuckled because we got it today, but we got like a Starbucks version of it just those frozen Speedway coffee. Literally, I'm going to do a blind taste test and like I try, to, yeah. try them both. Like I almost stopped because we passed... Actually, the Starbucks is in the same like parking lot as a 7-Eleven. I almost went over there just to pick one up, just to see if you could tell the difference. But yeah. That's how much that one. It's tastes. always good, but it's right. not. It's never gonna be my go-to or my favorite. So, what's your opinion on the newest Starbucks drink, the Summer Berry so Lemonade? So I love anything berry, like blue raspberry berry, blueberry, strawberry, anything berry. I just absolutely love. Blue raspberry ices are my favorite, so I really like this new lemonade. I think it sucks that the price of it, they're gouging they're sitting you. right here, so I'll, I'll pick it up. So this is this is the biggest one we got. So this one's a Trenta as well. Um, most, of the, most of the Starbucks drinks only come in Venti's, but yeah. luckily the lemonades, as I, as I just, Mike was asking, Derica. The, the lemonades <laughs> and teas come in Trenta's. But yeah, so this is the newest drink. Um, no, I, I really like it. I think if you like lemonade and I think if you like berry and boba's, like definitely try it. But I don't think the price is there. I think it should be the same price as the other refreshers. I don't know why they're upcharging you if it's for the boba or whatever. But Where we if you don't like boba, don't get it because like they, they put a ton of boba. Like I've gotten boba in every sip. So it's definitely like... I don't know if the camera like, will pick it up. But that's after I've had two mouthfuls. A boba. Yeah, and I've had probably like four. <laughs> so <laughs> but, they definitely fill it with boba. I just don't think seven, like seven forty-five. Yeah, it, it was over seven dollars. I think it was like seven fifty, seven sixty-five. And don't get me wrong, I know it's the largest one that they make, but I'm just not sure if I find that price there for yeah. it. But but it's delicious, and I'm gonna enjoy it today. <laughs> speaking of price, speaking of price, I have to say it. I'm gonna pick it up, so I'm gonna skim over here. And I drank half of it. But this is that uh, the espresso, espresso, espresso frappe. frappe. This is $7.20 for the same thing you can buy inside of a gas station. Which I just don't understand because there's <laughs> nothing to it besides it's, one shot of espresso and basically milk. Right. So I'm not sure why that one still like is more expensive than the normal like the caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. But I'm not their pricing person, so. And this is why we make coffee at home. Yes, but <laughs> since it's date day, we splurged, and I I told Jack I was like, I I know that it's a lot of money because it's twenty dollars, and we could probably go get something better, but. I just really wanted coffee today, 
and we just splurged on four drinks just for fun and now we can drink on them all day and get bad bad happy <laughs> headaches <laughs> by the looks of it we've already put a dent in it even though i said oh we're gonna put them in the freezer or the refrigerator for later yeah yeah that's not gonna happen at least we got one lemonade i'm in charge of making an early dinner late lunch and i wanted to show you what i'm making first i'm making grilled chicken and to make our chicken i usually brine our chicken breast in a salt water bath for about 30 minutes. It just helps the chicken stay moist while I grill it. And we usually grill um, our chicken for about 32 minutes, 16 on each side. And that usually gets our chicken on medium heat on our grill. And that usually gets our chicken to a perfect temperature. I take the chicken out of the brine or the water bath with salt. And then just the season ours, we just use this Lowry uh, garlic salt. That's all I do to flavor our chicken because we usually use barbecue sauce or wing sauce or something else to uh, dip our chicken into. I have the chicken on the grill and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some bacon. This is Hormel Black Label Maple Flavored Bacon. Um, what we normally do is actually make some what we call roly polies. So ultimately what it is is just grilled chicken with uh, bacon. Sometimes we have avocados and we put them up in like a wrap. We just picked up some of these uh, like keto friendly wraps. They're like street taco sized and I can show you those once I get those out of the cupboard. But now I'm gonna put the bacon in my pan while I got the chicken going outside because these should end up cooking at the same time and then we can have our dinner all together. I have my bacon working in the pan now. Um, I usually just throw all the bacon in there and as it cooks up, I just move it around. I have it on medium heat. We also have these Guerrero um, zero net carb kind of tortillas. This is a Chipotle flavor. We saw these, Erica picked them up at the grocery store. They smelled really good. We also have ones that are just flour ones as well in the cupboard, but we wanted to try these ones just because they, they smelled good, they look good. They're a little bit smaller than what we're used to. These are what we normally go with. We usually do these ones. These ones we pick up in our bakery section at our local Publix. And these are sun-dried tomatoes and these are our absolute favorite ones. I guess we should have paid closer attention to the weather because every time Jack tries to go to grill, it starts a thunderstorm. So, it's officially raining. Hopefully our chicken's okay. <laughs> We also, he showed you that we're making bacon, but we tried maple bacon, and I don't think we've ever had maple bacon, and I walked over in the kitchen, and I was like, oh, it smells like brown sugar. <laughs> like, what's that? Like, thinking he's making, like, pancakes or something. It smells like maple syrup, I guess, once I put it together, but he was like. <laughs> what I should have told her is the iced brown sugar shake and espresso. Well, that's, that's what came to mind. I was like, man, that espresso smells really good, but it's not. It's, a, it's the maple bacon. I forgot we bought maple bacon, so I wanted to see how this tastes because it's a really strong maple smell. I don't, I don't know if it's going to taste the best with this chicken. But yeah, I don't know if it, but oh well, we tried it. Pancakes tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just say that flavored bacon does not cook up the same as normal bacon. No judgments here, but this bacon did not turn out the way I was expecting it to turn out. And my pan got the worst of it. And the chicken is done. Are you ready to eat? Oh yeah. I'm a little nervous about this bacon. I would honestly never buy it again because it just does not smell very good. The maple, I don't think I like the smell. <laughs> oh well. It doesn't taste like maple, but I also burnt it. <laughs> We've been really into like salad kits lately. I usually just try to make um, salads and just make them like meaty on our own. Like I'll buy like carrots and kale and lettuce and stuff. But we were getting burnt out of those, so we started buying some salad kits the last two weeks. This week we're with the Fresh Express, and this one is the Fresh. Avocado Caesar. Last week we did the Taylor, Taylor Farms. the Taylor Farms, and those have some really good ones. But we're gonna try this one today, and I'm gonna mix it up, and we'll probably put it in with our wraps too, uh, because we tried this one yesterday, 
And it's kind of got like a Mexican flavor, so I think it might be good in our wraps as well as like a side salad. And the bacon didn't work out for us, so. <laughs> Luckily, the bacon at least tastes like normal bacon, but the aroma for it, they're I'm not a fan. I'm charging just, you for maple bacon that's not maple bacon. I don't know. I like the applewood bacon better, I think, but I don't think I would buy the maple again. But luckily, it tastes normal. It don't taste like. He's all like upset about the pan. <laughs> And dinner is served. If you want to add a little extra flavor, I always either use this, I don't know, chipotle hot sauce, but I like the Tabasco one better. Mm. Oh yeah. 